Team, it's time to do a little makeover on my offset. I'm gonna turn it from this to this. Little backstory on this one and then I'll jump into it. Char Griller gave me this grill about two or three years back, give or take. My first few videos on it did really well and I'll put you know a link for them up there as we go. It got to a point where it was a little too big for me. I wasn't gonna use it as much. So I let my buddy Joe take it and use it for his catering company. Okay, his barbecue catering company. And then it turns out, you know, a few years later, he was in a position that he needed to get a bigger smoker. So I told him to, you know, I'll take it back off his hands. So now we got this thing and he used it. I used it for videos, but homeboy used it for, you know, weekly cooks, right? So it got used and abused. Now it's time for us to rehab it a little bit, take some of that rust off, cover up some of that rust with some black paint, uh, clean out the inside, clean out the grates, all that good stuff. So I wanna bring you along with me and hopefully you'll know, see a pretty decent transformation. And then, you know, we'll start making some videos with it again. I'm actually gonna take on a little bit of catering this year too. So, um, you know, I wanted to get it back so I could do that too. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. What do you say? If you, real quick, if you don't mind, consider subscribing. I'm gonna be putting a lot more content on this channel. So it'd be awesome if you're around for it. Before we start going through this thing, I have a blue tarp down uh, just to catch everything, you know, so it doesn't go in the pool and piss off Mr. CJ. We got a pretty burnt out and uh, rusted firebox. A little bit of the rust on the side here, which we'll uh, we'll use a little sandpaper to get rid of. Obviously been sitting out in the weather, so we'll uh, clean that off a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take off this felt and put new felt on. We're gonna scrape out the insides. We got some stuff to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of taking it apart, taking uh, out the racks. Before we get doing that, I wanna show you all the stuff I bought off of Amazon for this. We have sandpaper, obviously, I'm gonna sand all that rust off. We got some high heat rust proof paint. I got new gauges for it, new felt, some uh, tools, uh, some plastic uh, trowels to do a little scraping in there. Uh, we're gonna re-season it with some canola oil. Got some grease cleaner. You know, we're gonna go through the whole thing. If you guys wanna get anything I'm using, I'll have links down below for it to Amazon on links i get a very small commission if you click on it but it cost you anything to use it and you're gonna you know click on it from this video anyway all right all right. all right let's start taking this thing apart all right we definitely need to scrape all that out from the inside i have uh i have a little bucket here to get all that grease and ash in there all right so this particular charcoal catch or you know whatever they call this thing there's plenty of uh used up grease and whatever in there it's a bitch to clean okay so we're just gonna take it nice and slow i got one of the plastic uh trowels whatever and i'm just gonna go slowly and just kind of push it down between each of these things each of the grates get as much as i can then i'll spray it down with the hose afterwards and we'll just keep collecting as we go. I might take a torch to it too and melt whatever extra grease is still on there, but we'll get at it. All right, so we got the majority of the gunk out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing fired up with a torch. We'll just, just help melt some of this off. We did a pretty good job of getting this burned off and cleaned out. Most of the time, what I used to do is flip this over, use it as a concave kind of baffle in there. I probably will do that again because it helps the grease drain below it and not just sit in the curvature there, I guess you'd call it. But we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make that call when the time comes. Now we got to get all this cleaned out. And again, we'll use our little scraping tool and just get in there and scrape around. And again, put all this in the bucket. So main cooking chamber is cleaned out. I got all the gunk out of there. Now we're gonna focus on the fire chamber. We're gonna go through that, pull everything out of that, scrape it all out, get it as cleaned up as possible. Do a little sanding on the outside, right? And then we're gonna spray the whole thing down with a little uh, degreaser in there. Get it, uh, maybe get a couple scrub daddies in there. Guys, when you have a pit that's this old and has been used this much, it doesn't have to be perfect when you're done. It's been sitting for quite a while. It's gonna take a little bit longer for me. Your mileage may vary, your pit may be different. So don't stress if it's, mine's not gonna look perfect at the end. I can guarantee you at that, but we're gonna do our best to clean it up, make it functional. That boy open right here. 
obviously it's rusted all the way through. No amount of sanding is going to get that rust completely off. So we're not going to be overly concerned about it, but we are going to give it, you know, a lot of elbow grease and get that, you know, as much of the rust knocked down as possible. Got our little uh, basket right here. Again, this is just going to stay rusty. I'm not worried about it. A little, little charcoal basket here. Just knock some of that off. We'll brush all this extra debris into the bucket right there. But you could tell this is just well used. I love that my buddy Joe got tons of uh, work done on this. All right, I'm gonna clean all this out and then we'll, uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do as far as the sanding wise goes. And then we'll give the spray down. We're just knocking all this rust down as much as possible in there. Get that ash out of there. Scrape as much down as you can. Okay, firebox is cleaned out. Next thing we're gonna do is take off this old felt around the, the door here, and then we'll replace it with new, new felt. I just got one of my scrapers here. We're just gonna go around and take it off. Yeah, we've got it mostly cleaned out. All right, we took all the felt off. Next thing we're gonna do is take off the drain plug on the bottom, and then I'm gonna take off all the bolts where your gauges go in. I've already took off the one gauge that was in there. It's the XD gauge that came with it, so I'll put that in the middle. Not so much as, uh, you know, really that much of a temperature gauge on the top there, but more of it's, you know, part of the, the grill, the HD part, you yeah, know, for looks. You know, let's see. Otherwise, my two gauges on the side, the right and left, will be what I, you know, go by on temperatures. So I get those bolts out, and we'll get ready to spray this bad boy down. All right. So we took the gauge out over here, the temperature gauge that was on there. I want to take out that bolt, take out that bolt right there, and then I'm going to take out the drain plug bolt, and then we can start cleaning this thing off a little bit, of degreaser, and uh, get it working. Make sure you guys hold on to the bolts. You never know when you'll need them. Some are a little stuck on there. You need a little elbow grease. We'll get the drain plug over here, hopefully without falling into the pool. Okay. Now let's get ready to spray it down. All right, we're gonna spray off the outside and then we'll work our way on the inside. The outside is more to just get all the dirt and grime off, right? Everything we've scraped off that's still kind of sitting on top, right? The inside, we'll actually get in there with the couple scrub daddies, a little bit of the greaser. Get it all nice and cleaned up. Let's get the inside now. Just basically wetting it down so the degreaser has something to hold on to. It's been all sprayed out. Now we're gonna use a little cleaner degreaser cover up by the manufacturer because it's a competitor. <laughs> but we're just gonna spray the hell out of it, let it sit for a little bit. And then we'll get in there with the scrub daddies. Grease do its thing on the on the Grand Champ in there. We're also gonna go at the grates with a little of that degreaser. Put a nice scrub, spray down, and let it dry. Right, time to start sanding. I just got some pretty heavy grit and I'm just taking down the surface rust as best I can. Again, we're gonna paint over it with some high heat, uh, rust proof paint. Just do your best. I'll save you from having to listen to all that. Bring you back when it's done. Right, team, we've given it a chance to get some sun, even though the sun went away. It's dried out ready to paint the firebox and a little bit up on the side of the cooker too. Is this putting lipstick on a pig? Yes. All right. It's just masking the rust basically, hopefully helping avoid more rust as you know, as we do more cooks. All right, here's what we're using. High heat ultra. It has a barbecue grill on there. It's rust oleum. Get this thing nice and shook. And you can see over here, we're going to go ahead and spray this down all the way around up on the side and then we'll get you know, the firebox too. All right, let's start off on the side over here. Obviously we're outside, so it's nice and ventilated. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this whole thing so it doesn't look too far off. I was not a tagger growing up, so I don't know if I'm 
making anybody proud with this painting. There's going to be some streaks on it, I'm sure. It's looking better already. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and we'll take a look at it when yeah, it's done. Firebox is all done. Now we just gotta let it dry. No more rust to be seen. Lipstick on a pig, baby. The felt to the edges. Got some of this stuff right here. Like I said, I'll link whatever I uh, use down below. Yeah, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna line it up, take out this uh, the white strip, and then stick it on. Some of the backing off here. And then we're just gonna line it up. Make it sure it's uh, stuck to it. And we'll just kind of slowly peel this back. And then we'll cut off any excess on there. And then we're just gonna go along all the way around. Well, I think you get the gist. We don't need to film you doing the whole thing. Okay, felt is on guys. We're, we're just humming along now that we've uh, had a little bit of time. And we're working with our uh, new gauges. We're gonna throw those in right now. Again, we're keeping the XD just because, you know, they came with it. But we got some better lava lock gauges. We've calibrated them. They're working just fine. Got HD one in. All right, gauges are on. Is it overkill with all three? Yeah, but that's okay. We're just gonna be ultra prepared. All right, guys, we're gonna let that paint continue to dry. I'm gonna put the racks and all that stuff back in. I don't want to light a fire in that box until I know it's completely dry. I don't know that's going to happen in this video. So we got a torch, we got some canola oil. We're going to spray the inside and then I'll blow torch the inside just to get all those rusted spots, get a little coat of oil and a little burn in. So we're just going along the grates. Right, just reseasoning them a little bit. Then I'm gonna do the inside right here. And I'll, I'll finish the outside later. But again, I want everything to kind of dry. So we'll turn on our little blowtorch thing here and just go to town on it cook that oil in all right I'm gonna finish this up and we'll come talk about it ta-da all right it's done guys we went from zero to here on this one got it nice and cleaned up again we put a little lipstick on this pig but it looks a lot better we're ready to fire it up once it doesn't look like it's gonna rain once that paint is dry so guys if you want to see more Grand Champ videos, make sure you're subscribed, all right? Thumbs up, all that good YouTube stuff. Again, if you guys want to get anything I used in the video to rehab my, my Grand Champ, links are all down below. If you'd like to become a show producer, uh, there's a join button right next to the subscribe button. Check it out. Other than that, guys, we're done. This is a lot of work. I'm very tired and very dirty. <laughs> That's okay. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for uh, hanging out with uh, CJ in the backyard. Cheers.